Of all the pieces I have ever painted, this one gave me the most heartbreak. There was a point after painting for days where I actually felt like I needed to see a therapist. Turning the pages, been burning the candle. I'm going to walk you through the process, but you may want to grab some comfort food or a glass of wine for this one. My niece gave me this. Her and her husband just left it at the store here. They thought it came from my niece's husband's house. I had heard stories about their home being haunted. Oh, I don't know if I want that piece of furniture. I really thought that this was gonna be easy. I had painted an ornate piece at my shop that just took a couple hours and my plan was to replicate that look on this buffet. If you plan to blend, putting a base coat down first makes it a lot easier. So I applied weathered wood to the entire piece. In all the videos I've made, I don't think you've ever seen me stripping anything or using harsh chemicals. That is because I have suffered from chronic fatigue in the past, and I try and avoid those things. DIY paint is just nine non-toxic ingredients, and our standards are higher than what the cosmetic industry requires for things like lipstick and face cream. And because DIY paint is mostly clay, it adheres really well. I just want to say right off the bat that I do not believe in ghosts, but I do believe we are living in a supernatural world. And there's like a whole parallel spiritual world. As we walk through life, there are angels and demons, I'm just going to say it, and they're fighting a battle. I don't really think that there are ghosts, but I do think that there are spirits. I did clean off the top of this with a non-toxic cleaner because it was really filthy. But as you saw in the previous clip, sometimes I paint the dust right into the furniture finish, especially if I'm going for a textured, chippy look. I mean, clay is basically dirt, and our paint is made mostly from clay. So, yeah. My original plan was to blend blue iris and kissing booth together. I love the contrast of blue and pink, so I started applying these colors on the dresser, not really worrying about the blending yet, because I knew I was going to go back and create the soft transitions later. DIY paint is probably the fastest drying paint on the market, but it has a very long open time. This means that it takes days or even months to cure, so I can get the initial design down and come back weeks later and still reactivate it with water, as long as I have not put a sealer on top. A family member called me. She had this piece of furniture that had been in our family for a very long time. It belonged to our great grandmother and I want to give it to you. I needed to drive 45 minutes to go pick it up. I knew right away that this thing was heavy and I had had a similar piece in the shop and it never sold. I was thinking I don't really want it, but I did not know how to tell her that I didn't want it. I just said, oh, thank you. And then I never went and picked it up. The next thing I did was take cowgirl coral and mixed it into the kissing booth to create a lighter peachy pink. This will create a transition color or a highlight color and I'm applying it to the middle areas of the detail work in this piece. Stones we carry if you leave the lid off of DIY paint or you let it sit out and halfway dry, it starts to turn back into clay. And this can create a really cool textured effect. At this point, you're probably wondering why this process looks nothing like the pictures I showed you at the beginning of the video. Something terrible happened, and even as I sit here editing this, it's still hard to talk about. The next thing I did was take out the Bohemian Brights. They are a completely different formula in a clear base. So I am applying these colors with my fingers over the paint. 
The Bohemian Brights are super intense colors. They have a built-in sealer and they work best over similar colors or on fabric. Why haven't you come to get this thing? I just haven't been in the area. I made excuses. I never committed to a specific time and day that I would go pick it up, but I just said if I was ever around that area, I would get it, and I just explained that I wasn't. Another family member calls me up. Debbie, I picked it up for you, and now it's at your sister's house. My sister was out of town, and then my sister gets back. She is going about her business, and she's standing in her hallway, and she hears these very strange noises coming from the garage. What? What is that? She wears hearing aids, so she just kind of wrote it off. But then it happened repeatedly. She would hear these, this laughter, this women laughing. Drinking it in while I'm drifting away. Breathing you out of my lungs. I started to lightly dry brush blue iris over the edges and the details, and I love the contrast of this. Out into space, you are my oxygen, but you're gone, gone, gone. When you get your piece blended and looking the way that you want, that is when you apply the sealer and lock in everything that you have done. So that's what you see me doing here. Little did I know, I had seven more days of painting to go. I've been talking to your oh. Then her daughter comes to visit, and they are standing in the hallway. And all of a sudden, the women laughing happens again. What was that? You heard that too? Yeah, that was women laughing in the garage. I was taken by the moon Looking down on everything I never knew Next thing I did was take a tiny brush and apply the gold wax to all the high points of the piece. This stuff can seriously take your furniture to the next level. said that immediately she knew that it was coming from the piece and that that needed to go. Tomorrow morning, we are gonna take that thing and we're gonna take it right to the thrift store. We need to get it out of this house and it's leaving this place. My niece was a little bit scared, it was at night. The very next morning, they open the garage door, they throw a blanket over this thing, they put it in the back of the truck and they take it right to the thrift store. Originally, I had planned to leave the top a solid color, like the table that I had back at the shop. But then I changed my mind, and I decided to blend it. Had I known this from the get-go, I would have not sealed it with Big Top first. Always static when I try to speak Not an addict, I just need some sleep I am starting with the lightest color in the center and working my way toward the edge. I'm moving my brush back and forth and in the opposite direction so that I can blend the colors together. It's important that the side-by-side -side colors stay wet so that you can keep the paint moving. I use my spray bottle to keep this process going. Nobody loves me the way that when they got back, my niece was like, can we go in the garage? Is it safe? And my sister just said, no, I think we're fine now. We just need to pray over the house. She just explained that sometimes you can bring things into your life that have spiritual attachments to it, and you need to be very careful about the things that you bring in and out of your life. At this point right here in the video, I guess it was about eight days ago, I thought I was almost done with the piece. All I needed to do was apply Big Top over the entire thing. I was gonna throw some pigments into the Big Top as I sealed it to intensify the color here and there. Then I just needed to stage the piece of furniture, take some quick photos, and start editing the video. 
If I could go back in time, before I put a single brushstroke on this buffet, I would have done it so differently, but that is not how my creative process works. I got up early to take the final photos, but before I left, I saw this artist on Instagram with Love Furniture, and she was doing a cool two-toned effect to the side of her buffet, and I thought I could do something similar. As I drove down to Cedros, I told myself that it would maybe take me one more hour and it would give it that extra pizzazz. I'm sitting here at my computer watching this part back and it's painful. I really wish that I had just let it go. I don't know why I do this to myself. I painted for another seven days. I created a whole bunch of extra work. This video could have been out last week. I love the original concept by With Love Furniture. And someday I wanna circle back to this and try it again. But I could not get it to flow with what I had already created on this piece. It was a bad choice and it led to a downward spiral of more bad choices. have to be very careful. You want the good spirits. That's what you want. You just want those. You don't want the other ones. I have my own personal story about my belief in the spiritual world. When I was in my 20s, I was at a party and there was a kid there and he was reading tarot cards. I had been raised to believe to stay away from that stuff. If that is offensive to you, I'm sorry. This is just my experience. I was made to feel holy liquid gold runs through my face what you see now is me trying to make the front jive with the sides inspired by another furniture artist named olivia tarot I've got a city at my finger. I had a crush on this young man and i was really impatient i'm like does this boy like me or not i thought that if this kid read the cards that maybe there would be an answer there the whole time there was this voice in the back of my head saying you really shouldn't do this but i did i did it because of curiosity and because i like this boy i was made to feel holy i was trying everything i knew how to do to make this piece come back together and in the process i discovered a new way to use our pigment Pigments are extremely saturated, but in the past, when I would try to mix them into the paint, they would get lost. And when I tried to mix them into the sealers, they would be hard to control. I discovered if you take a wet paintbrush and then stick that in the pigment powder, and then apply it to the chalky, unsealed surface of DIY paint, it absorbs it like a sponge, it sticks to it, and then you can spray it with water and move it around and blend it really easily. After that happened, I started having severe anxiety attacks. I was working as a bank teller and this job, if you were out of balance, even five cents, you'd get written up. And if you got written up several times, then you were in jeopardy of losing your job. I'd be in the middle of a transaction and I couldn't remember what I was doing. Then I started getting out of balance. My boss pulled me into her office. If you're out of balance one more time, you're gonna lose your job. Now I'm adding transfers to add to the mixed media look. But this piece was not coming together easily. And working on this for days, I was standing in the kitchen, ready to give up, when I noticed the beautiful cabinets that Stephanie had painted. I decided to go back and see if I could tie the piece together by blending the paint into a gradient. And I just remember feeling so hopeless. So I called my mom. Mom, I don't know what's going on. Debbie, have you done anything different recently? Oh man, if I tell her she's gonna be mad. She basically explained to me that I had opened a door for the power of negative things into my life. This is not to be judgmental. This is what happened to me. If you have any doubts about the things that you're inviting into your life, maybe ask God to show you. All right, so I decided to sand the top. Bobby's gonna do it, because I don't have the heart. It's gonna balance out the piece, though, I think, to have a natural top, so. What do you think people will say? They'll say, why'd you paint over that top? 
It took Bobby several hours to sand down this piece, and it really made a big difference. I want Jesus to walk with me. Dion also helped me over the phone. God has brought me some really good friends. Those anxiety attacks started to lessen, but it took two years for them to completely go away. Now when I bring things into my business and into my life, I'm very careful about them, especially because I go to a lot of estate sales and you just don't know what you're bringing into your world when you bring old things in. I just pray for God's protection and I try to make better choices now. And for the most part, I think I do. I don't watch scary movies. I don't even listen to like that song from ACDC, Highway to Hell. I won't listen to it. Just don't want to do it. <laughs> I applied clear wax and dark wax to the tops and side of this piece. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. Sometimes I feel like I have to make a bunch of wrong choices to finally discover the right path. But when the choices are clear, I try and learn from the past so I don't add to the struggle. I want Jesus to walk with me. In the upcoming months, I am going to be in Ohio, Maryland, and Lake of the Ozarks for some paint workshops and I would love to meet you. All of the links are below. Let me know in the comments what you think, but don't tell me any creepy ghost stories because I'm just kind of like, la 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 la. I hesitated to tell you the story because I feel like even telling a story about a ghost or a spirit can maybe even open a door. So I don't want to open none of those doors. I guess let me know in the comments what your stories are, but no, nothing scary, please. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. To find links to the people, products, and events mentioned in this video, to find DIY paint near you or to sell it in your store, click the link below. And subscribe, I've got more stories and tutorials. To sing sad songs, yeah. Get back.